Now what you should see on my screen is my map book, which is going to be my attack machine or the machine that the payload is going to connect back to. And as you can see there, I have the IP address of 192.168.0.23. Now if I head to the terminal, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do netcat or nc hyphen lvmp and I believe the port was 4243 and I'm going to hit return on that and I'm just going to sit there and wait because now we need to pop in the USB and that's going to be the thing that allows us to execute the script. Okay, so now that we have the attacker laptop set up and running and it has a listener listening on port 4243 with Netcat, what we can do is we can take the DigiSpark USB device and we can plug it into the USB port of the machine we want to attack and we should see what happens. Let's have a look. Plugging it in now. Got to give it a second for it to register. There we go. You can see it hit the run command and how quickly it's typing everything out. And we now have a connection back to our attack machine. So we can type commands like, who am I? Um, we can do things like hostname. Or we could type in the current working directory just to confirm that we are in fact on a Windows machine. So yeah, the attack was successful. It created a reverse shell from our Windows machine back to our attack laptop.